Hello, it's great to have you folks back here at Murphy's Welcome to My World. This time we have something fun. It's a great new 3-in-1 kit from the Imagine That Laser Art folks. I must say, when I first ordered up this kit, I thought it would be fun. And then when I got all this stuff, it was piles of stuff. I was amazed at how many pieces and bits. What it really is is three different kits coming together as one. And here you can see how I colored them. Some of them I painted, some of them I stained. And this material, it's kind of a high density paper stuff that just takes color great. Now with the directions, the directions, well, it's a craftsman kit, so it does not say put this on there. But it has great, fun, helpful bits and pieces of information for you to use, not only on this kit, but on other kits. Okay, fine. Here you can see the different colored bits, and you can see that there are three distinctive different buildings that come together. Now, these folks at the Laser R, they put lots of thought, lots of energy into making these kits easy, but also very detailed and multiple layers. Now, I do need to warn you about cutting some of the parts out. This high density paper will shred, and so you want to be really careful with some of the parts. I did damage a few and I had to make some new parts. Before long you start getting a bunch of subsections. I love subsections. I like to think of them as little individual kits. And then before long, oh my god, I've got this great big pile of bits and pieces. What am I going to do with all this stuff? It really was a bit intimidating, but hey, it's a hobby, right? And look at all that fun stuff. Okay, now the water tower, I like to think that the water tower is one of the best parts. I did take the time to fill all the gaps to make them look better. And what a great finished model. And wow, before long, you've got all of these cool models, all these little bits and pieces that fit together. That's one thing about the laser art folks, my friends. They have just wonderful stuff. Now, to make this model work, you need a lot of handy helpers. You need all kinds of stuff. As you can see, I have weights, I have uh, rubber bands, I got all kinds of stuff. Now, these folks at Laser Art, they even give you jigs to build things. I mean, what can you ask for? Of course, now for coloring, you got to add a little of this and a little that, put a little weathering on. I decided not to make it beat up and old and worn out, just uh, a bit worn, let's say. And this is, of course, your choice. And here are some more handy helpers. You can never have too many handy helpers. Get that stuff to hold together until the glue dries. Now here's one of the buildings, my personal favorite of the three, but hey, who's asking me? Here's another one. I love the way that the loading docks have all kinds of stuff inside. Here's another one with more loading dock stuff inside. Now you can put all these three buildings any way you want. This is how I personally put them. Hey, get carried away, put it anywhere. Okay, now we got to have a story behind this. Now this particular railroad was in Chicago that had a narrow gauge line running through it. And of course we're just talking about, hey, it's a hobby, so we can make it everything. Granted the original railroad is long gone. Where did I get this information from? My personal favorite ma uh, book, not magazine, Chicago's America's Railroad. This is a great book, have a look at it. All right, this never actually existing narrow gauge railroad serviced all kinds of businesses in downtown Chicago. And here we go. We're starting to pick stuff up, drop stuff off. This is a great kit. I gotta say I had a lot of fun with it and I'll be using it for lots of other pictures. This three-in-one kit from the Laser Art folks, it was just way fun. Now if you want to have some fun, Look into the uh, Imagine That Laser Art Company. They have a whole bunch of different kits in different scales that you can have a lot of fun with. Come on! Your imagination can be better than mine. So do something and have some fun. Bye, guys!